as soon as the CMTK has been initialized, that home screen should appear in the browser. Clicking on the free point icon, then settings, we get in the setting menu. The first section is dedicated to the IO-Link device settings, so we can plug our IO-Link device on the 4M8 port and click Rescan to discover what is connected. Devices recognized with IODD file already present in the CMTK will appear with the green icon. The devices that are connected but not recognized because the IODD is not yet uploaded will appear with a red X symbol. We can now upload the IODD files of unknown sensors just clicking on Upload IODD. When we need more info about the device connected, we can just click on the device icon to get in general information as product ID, firmware version, a vendor name, etc. The IODD files can be found with the IODD Finder that you can find on the IODD Consortium website or even from the device vendor website. When the device icon is green, we can access its information. Process data, parameters now are interpreted with the help of the IODD files. In the case of BCM connected, the first thing to do is to select uh, the process data profile. Then you can uh, navigate through all the other parameters to select, for example, your express configuration according to the kind of the machine that you want to monitor. We can also change manually the time window, the bandwidth, according to the vibration frequencies that you want to measure. So you can read also the preset alarm and pre-alarms for each possible measurement and change if it's needed. These thresholds limits will affect the status bits in the process data. These status bits are declared in the IODD file as boolean and by default boolean variables are not recorded in the CMTK database. But if you need to monitor also the booleans, we have to select the option save boolean values. Now the sensor data are set according to the application needs. Then we can get in the database section. First of all, we have to clear the database in order to delete the previous stored data. When we change the BCM sensor profile, it is always good to clear the database. Otherwise, the CMTK will create a widget in the dashboard for each measurement, old ones and new ones. Now we can select the desired data logging interval the database retention will change automatically according to the logging interval that you selected. And then we can save. Once you are done, you have to reinitialize data visualization to let the CMTK to recreate the visualization dashboard with the new profile of your sensors. Now we can jump back to the home screen and click on the CMTK picture to open the visualization environment and see the home dashboard that CMTK created automatically with the right process data of your devices. If you generate automatically the visualization after activating Boolean values, an extra graph with all the Boolean values will be generated and displayed automatically. So now, new dashboards with new visualization panel can be easily developed based on the data queried in the database.